If you have a moment, let me explain to you the different stages of periodontal disease. Many people, when they hear those probing numbers, really don't understand what that means. So let's go over that. In a healthy situation, you have bone that goes all the way around the root of each of your teeth. And that bone goes to the neck of each tooth and just kind of holds the teeth securely in place. When you get periodontal disease, what happens is that the gum tissue starts to become infected. As that infection takes hold, it gets into this supportive bone and starts to destroy the bone down the root surface of your teeth. If you hear a pocket reading of five millimeters, that would be the early stages of periodontal disease, where the disease is just starting. It will continue to destroy the jawbone that supports the tooth. As that destruction continues, it can get to the point where we get a pocket that is just not cleansable. The problem with that is that when you brush and floss your teeth, you can only get a couple millimeters below the level of the gum tissue. So when you hear that you have a pocket that's seven millimeters deep, that means that no matter how hard you try, it's literally impossible for you to get down under that gum tissue, deep into that pocket to clean out the infection. So as the disease progresses and the bone is destroyed, we start to get these deep pockets. What I do as a periodontist is I go in and I remove that disease that's deep down in the jawbone. I can also, with special techniques, regenerate the bone to build it back up so that we regain that support that we've lost from the disease. The other thing that I do is I lower the pockets. By lowering the pockets, that gives you access so that you're able to get in there and keep those pockets clean and healthy on a daily basis.